personal home use, this is for a homeowner. We're going to ask you for the start date and end date. Reason why is because we want to make sure we can flip your can a whole lot faster. And you're also going to notice that these individuals are going to be one of your more cost effective type customers. You can even set up custom pricing just for them and set up separate pricing for your commercial guys. Commercial ordering is going to have open ended where they just put the delivery date. And after that, it'll be to be determined on the end date because there might be multiple swaps involved. So for this demo, I'll go ahead and click on commercial use. I'll hit continue. And my system is going to make sure again, they understand exactly what they're getting. That same thing. If they did not click on more info, it's going to reiterate everything right here as well. So go ahead and hit choose a date. The date will go ahead and put the 26. One thing you should know right here, if I need to block out Saturday and Sunday deliveries, I can, or we can even put a note in this counter saying any Saturday delivery will be delivered on Friday. Any Sunday pickup will be picked up on Monday. However you operate. If you want to do a same day order, which today's the 25th, you can do that. And our system will send you a text alert automatically. If anyone orders on the same day saying you have a order that you need to dispatch right away. So, Anywho, I'll go ahead and pick the 26 for today. Well, that's fine. I have it set up where after 10 minutes, it's going to send me an email alert saying I had an abandoned cart. Then 10 minutes after that, my system's automatically going to email that customer a coupon code where they can save $20 off if they were to book it before Friday. That is completely customizable with the price on the coupon code. With the email that you make, it is all automated. It's just personally how I would prefer to do business, especially if I spend money on Google AdWords and the cost per conversion is pretty high. I want to make sure um, I take advantage of all my at-bats. Now you're going to notice all the information autofills. If this is the exact same information, if it's a homeowner example, they'll hit same as billing. If it's a contractor, it might have a different drop address, so you'll put in the different drop address. Job site contact. Uh, let's say it was John Doe in time sensitive delivery. I put a hundred dollar fee. You don't have to do time sensitive. This is all completely customizable. Please give a brief description of what you're dumping. They put shingles and let's say they put their roofer. Reason why that's important is because our system does segmented email campaigns. Let's say that you round up a few hundred roofers and a hellstorm happened. You want to email them a coupon code to save $20 off. But then at the same time with our system, you might want to increase your price by, let's say, 5% across the board. And there that way you can take advantage of a situation. You might even increase your daily rate from $10 a day up to $15 a day. So where would you like this dumpster set up? Let's say they put driveway. Does your job site require a PO? If so, they just put in their purchase number or they can simply type in no. Customer comments, uh, gates locked until 8 a.m. And maybe they're a roofer, just to show you how it works. I'll go ahead and put a roofer code in here. You can see in our next demo assigned to an individual customer. These are typically people that you do a lot of business with. Not maybe happen now is ask you for a credit card and you would simply put in your uh, credit card information right here and you hit submit and you're done. So thanks for their email address, their phone number. This will prompt you to uh, go ahead and close that order if they are fill it out and you'll know the exact date. Now you just flip the can much faster than you would normally. We can also make this an automated email where automatically a trigger after 12 days, it can send that out for you if you'd like. So again, there are certain rules that you can use, certain rules that you don't have to use, that is up to you. Now what I'd like to do is um, go ahead and share with you guys, what would you like to use? They say they wanna use a Visa or MasterCard. I'll go ahead and click here. If they say, you know what, instead send me a quote, I'll send a quote. Once I send a quote, they have a link. They can book that dumpster online using that link as long as it's still available. If it's not, the system will prompt them to pick another date or pick another dumpster. But let's go ahead and pretend in this scenario that they want to use a Visa or MasterCard. You have the option where you can charge them deposit or you can charge them full. I always recommend full. You also have the option whether or not you want to send a receipt or not. That's up to you. Once we go ahead and put their card in, I put in their number or I educate them that, hey, our system is after I charge your card, it's going to send you an email. It's going to tell you what is allowed and what's not allowed in the container. It's also going to tell you how many um, 
tons that is allowed without being over charge fees. And if you have any questions, feel free to call me. It is very important that you sign that right away. I'll be looking for that in the next 10 minutes. It literally takes you two minutes to click on that receipt, click on those terms of service and just uh, sign off for it. Sound fair? They say, yes, great. I hit submit and I'm done. So now that I hit submit, Evan, but remember we said he gets five tons for a roofing. And we said any extra days past the eighth day, one to, di one to seven days, any extra days instead of 15, he only has to pay 10, but most likely a roofer doesn't go past seven days anyway. So now that we have that, if he wants her was ready for a final pickup, but now they decide they need another one, we'll go ahead and schedule it right now. And we'll go ahead and send them a smaller one. He said this time it just needs a 20 yard. So I'll go ahead and select the 20 of your uh, dispatch personnel by name, what orders they actually took and how much they actually um, uh, made your company in revenue for as far as taking the order. It'll also show you how many orders you got through uh, the internet, meaning people booked online. Again, this is a training count. Who sells delivery versus pickup, annual growth, order options. I mean, the list goes on and on. You can also see employee uh, reports, very popular ones, especially those who take advantage of our driver app. When a driver logs into work, he clocks in and he clocks out, you can put an exact amount of money that that individual made hourly, saying $15 an hour. We can tell when he clocked into work, where he clocked in at work, where he clocked, what time he clocked out and where he clocked out, make sure he's not uh, milking the clock. Here I signed a truck. It normally starts with truck run one. As you see here, it says truck two. I signed it to Jeremy and he's driving the white international. And this is how I assign it to my driver. As you can tell, here's Jeremy. He's starting at the warehouse. You can have multiple stops. You can have yard two, warehouse, landfill, however you want to go about doing it. Some people keep cans at all three locations. And either way, you still got to stop by a landfill or a recycling center. You can put multiple custom stops. Very easy. Uh, now you can tell I'm going to go do a 30-yard delivery. The way I know that is because... It says 30 yard dumpster and it's a very light color. This right here would be a yard. This is uh, with the swap. There's going to be a delivery and pickup involved when you order a swap out. And I automatically went ahead and set up a landfill after a swap out. And I'm going to go re-deliver it to my 30 yard dumpster right down the road. And then I'm prompting my driver to go to the yard and clock out. So a couple things I want to show you guys on how I did this is... I can zoom out to see all my cans. I can zoom even closer this way. And notice this right here is my yard. You can also call it a warehouse. And right here will show you all my different deliveries I need to do today, right? So once I click on one, you'll notice the pin got bigger. And let's say I was doing a pickup like I am right here. I can even look and see what kind of waste, municipal waste. So I know I can send them to landfill versus sending them to maybe a recycling center. Now that I like my route, I want to view it and I want to make sure it makes the most sense and I want to make sure my guy always stays under dot. So I'm scrolling down here and you'll see all my different tasks that this individual have. It shows he's driving 92.88 miles, driver pays $70.50. It'll even show that he'll be ready back at the yard by 2.13. I give him 15 minutes to clock out. I give him 15 minutes to do a swap. You'll notice at the landfill, it's a pretty slow one. I signed an hour. These are all pre-can things that you can set up to configure with your system. And as you build the route, you can also change those times very easily. Example, here I go to landfill and I'm going to go from one hour to an hour, 15 minute. I want to get a good idea when my guy's going to be back. I can tell him to go to the yard to clock out. I can assign him to go do an oil change, whatever I need to do. I can put it all in here. When I go make a custom stop, let's say I want to go in the yard and tell them to go ahead and you know change the oil on the white international while I'll be on standby I can put in all those notes here update it and he will see it all right now if I want to take it away I simply remove it if I need to go ahead and lock this down next time an order comes in let's say it came in tonight it'll come under truck 2 but once it comes on under truck 2 notice that it will not be assigned it doesn't have a name to it and it doesn't have any selected drivers. If I decide I want to drag this in my guy's route, wherever it makes sense, I can simply do that as well. You can run up to 42 different trucks on here at any given time. 
and you just make a truck by line item. The next one will show up right here and the pins will be purple. And typically you do it based on um, where they're located, east, west, north, south, northeast, depending how big you are and how many trucks you're running at any given day. Uh, if I like my route, and again, if I, once I update it, all I gotta do is click here, I send it, my driver gets a text message, he also gets an email showing that he got a um, updated route and he'll know when to start again. So as I go down here again, if I wanna go ahead and print all this money, if you're one of those guys, you only charge people on day of delivery, this would be ideal for you. You can charge all the cards on file. You should have already set up a uh, $1 authorization charge or maybe even a small deposit. Depends how you run your business. Again, it's very versatile. Now that I have all that, I wanna send an estimated delivery time when we're gonna set up. I'll hit send, 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 and all my um, individuals by name and their phone number will get sent a text message with my pre can message and company name saying their estimated time for a delivery. So again, this is pretty robust. Uh, if you guys want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one demo, I suggest you do because it does a whole lot more than what I appreciate you watching the demo. Um, if you guys want to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation, show you more about reporting, truck tracking, routing, and other features, as well as a driver app, Please be sure to go to our website, that's dumpsterrentalsystems.com, click on the demo, or you can just simply go to that link and schedule your one-on-one -on -one consultation right here.